Hi, my name is Attorney Walter Wolf, not the third with Disability Resolution PA in Orlando, Orange County based Social Security Disability Law Firm. A uh, question I sometimes get asked is a pretty simple one. What should I be doing the day before my hearing? What should I be doing the day before my hearing? Okay, that's your administrative law judge hearing that we're referencing. First off, realize you need good sleep, okay? Second of all, you need to go ahead and get your medication into a bag so that if you're questioned about it, as I always do with my claimants, uh, basically you can pull out each bottle and state the specific things that I'm looking for from your testimony while you're in that actual administrative law judge hearing. Okay, next thing I want you to focus on is what you're gonna wear. Do not dress up, do not be fancy. Dress as you normally would. Some attorneys advise them if they're, you know, to dress poorly, to dress this way. Remember, these administrative law judges are not stupid. They're not dumb. They see more claimants than you would believe in a single day, and they process a lot of claims. So when they see a homeless person, they're going to know it's a homeless person rather, you know, over somebody who's trying to make it seem like they're homeless. Okay. All right, let's go on to the next one. Uh, so, you know, lay out your clothing. Another thing I want you to focus on are the basics uh, that you have to have memorized when you go in there. Now, my claimants all have to have certain things memorized, okay? They're, they're fact pattern lists of things that are relevant to them, like which jobs they worked within the past 15 years, what their medications are, what their side effects are from, for each medication. There's certain things that they have to have memorized uh, before they go in there, okay? And, and if they have memory problems, then we basically work it and work it and work it until they have enough cue phrases to know that, you know, uh, when they say this sentence, it means they go to this. When they say this thing, they go to that. And that's so that we get the naturally disabled testimony out of them, uh, even if they have you know, mental limitation disorders, uh, particularly involving memory issues, okay? Another thing I'd like you to focus on is your ride. I know this is probably something a lot of people would skip over, but transportation. You should have worked out your transportation if you're going via bus, Realize that your bus may be late, so make sure you get an earlier ride, and realize that usually the hearing office is a bit of a walk from the nearest uh, bus station. And realize a lot of the administrative law judges like to ask it being one of their early questions, not their first, but usually one of their earliest questions. Um, how did you arrive here today? And if you say, well, I got here via bus, that means that you can travel and go to work at a job. Um, you know, if you have difficulty with the bus, for example, being around others, climbing up the steps, having to have them lower the bus for you, being in a small area around multiple people, taking direction from, for example, the uh, bus driver or being able to follow directions to go from point A to point B with the bus. If those things are difficult for you or you have a sleep issue or a bathroom issue where you have to be able to use the bathroom more often or you fall asleep easily, all things that matter for the bus situation. Okay, next thing I want you to focus on is uh, basically food. Is your hearing going to be in the morning? Is it going to be in the you know uh, middle of the day, noon area, maybe mid-afternoon? Um, is it going to be an 8.30 a.m.? Is it going to be a 2.30 p.m.? Things like that. Um, make sure you have some food with you at some point so that you do not pass out during the actual hearing. I know it's an exciting thing. You're going to your administrative law judge hearing and finally came, yada, yada. But it is important to remember that you are a human being, and if you do not eat, you are likely not going to give, you know, naturally good testimony, and then also you could faint. We've had people that they just didn't eat all day because they, you know, hearing, 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 and then poof, all of a sudden they faint. So just make sure you have some sort of plan for food and all that stuff. Another thing. Um, what I'd like you to do is if you have any new, brand new, brand new medical documentation, like you just got out of the hospital a week ago, that sort of stuff, or you were given something and it's relevant and it didn't make it into the record because you just got it or whatever reason, um, you need to bring that because your attorney can go ahead and either scan it and upload it into the e-folder or make a copy of it and then basically hand it to the judge or upload it to the e-folder later when uh, the attorney, whether he or she, gets back to their office, okay? So you want to bring that stuff. There's a lot of other things you can consider. Those are kind of the main things. Um, another thing is when you take friends and family members there, remind them, you know, they're not supposed to have a bunch of stuff in their pockets. So, you know, if they walked there, they took the bus there, you know, it's a situation where the guard may have to go forward and basically hold on to your phone until you pop out of there. Or if you're represented, which you should always be, then very likely you should go forward and uh, have the guard, or rather have, um, 
whatchamacallit, your attorney hold on to your phone while you go through the process. Your attorney will just make sure your phone's off, throw it in his briefcase or her briefcase, and then at the end of it, just make sure to ask the attorney uh, for the phone back. Because remember, attorneys, they're usually seeing multiple people, multiple hearings, so they, you know, it's boom, 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 boom. Another thing that I want you to remember is no knives, no hats, um, no, you know, pepper spray, um, you know, things like that. You can't bring a ton of stuff into the hearing room with you uh, other than things, you know, imagine going through the TSA uh, at the airport, you know. There are certain things you can bring, there are certain things you can't bring. The one everybody always tends to forget is they will bring a bunch of crap and they don't remember to bring their ID with a photo, uh, which isn't a big deal. If you have an ID or no ID, you're just going to basically go to uh, the front window and validate who you are. They're going to ask you a couple questions and validate who you are. And if you're represented, which, you know, once again, if you're not represented, then you're hurting yourself. You're really hurting yourself. At that point, you need to basically uh, just, you know, have the attorney vouch for you. Um, so, yeah. And if the attorney's known at that office, then that'll work. Um, what else? Um, now those are most of the things that you need to know before, you know, the day before you go to your hearing. I'm going to do another one about the morning before, another one about three days before and things like that. That way you kind of have an understanding as to what your flight plan is before you go to your administrative law judge hearing. All right. I'll catch you a little bit later. You have an absolutely wonderful day. My name is attorney Walter Ruth, not the third. I'm with Disability Resolution PA in Orlando, Orange County, a social security disability law firm. Um, if you have any questions for any claim, don't be afraid to give me a call or shoot me an email. And finally, we have made over a jillions, a gajillions worth of videos. Um, I don't know, it's uh, over 600 at this point, videos. It's more videos than any other disability attorney uh, or person has made out there about this stuff. So we're gonna continue to make videos. When we hit 1,000, uh, I would love, to love, to love to have a big celebration. So I'll catch you guys a little bit later. I hope all is well and we'll go from there. Thanks so much, bye-bye.